Uh, we're finishing out our final sessions here, Desert Apologetics Anchored, and we're here with Clay Jones. And I was listening in, Clay, uh, hearing a lot of the message that you brought to us about immortality and man's desire for this. I don't know if you, I missed the beginning, so I don't know if you quote Ecclesiastes, you know. No, I didn't, but that's a good verse, yeah. you know, that eternity's in the heart of man, right? right, right. I didn't quote it. it just made it's me in the book. Of, yeah, it's in not, the book, yeah, it just made me think of that. And how, and just how much uh, man is deceived by misconceptions of what heaven is and what truly awaits us that are saved in Christ. Yeah, that's one of the biggest, uh, most difficult things I think the average Christian is facing because as I called it in the meeting, uh, I call it extreme makeover metaphysical edition, yeah. where Satan has made heaven look like a place you don't want to go. Right. Where we're going to be sitting on clouds, strumming uh, harps, sporting flightless wings, and singing nonstop. Mm -hmm. None of those things are true. Yeah. We're not, and, and we're not going to be singing nonstop. We will not. Our occupation, as I said in last night's talk about why does God allow evil, our occupation is reigning with Christ. Yeah. We're going to be reigning over the kingdom. That's our occupation. It's not singing nonstop. <coughs> I'm not saying there won't be singing. Yeah. But it's not nonstop. Right. And I just, and as I said, you know, uh, some people might think this is a little bit rough, but I said in front of the, uh, uh, the audience, I said, you know, God made all the pleasures, food, drink, and even made orgasms possible. Uh, and I say that, as I said, I say that to shock people out of the satanically inspired stupor that heaven's a place you don't want to go. Yeah. Because God has made all the pleasures and he's not opposed to their use, he's opposed to their misuse. Right. And, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, the scripture says that in heaven that we'll eat uh, aged wine and fatted meat, and I'm thinking Wagyu, and uh, I, I really am. I think, the, I think we're going to be doing those things. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, because if we can get people to think differently about heaven, yeah. Christians to yeah. think differently about heaven, they'll look forward to it more. Yeah. And uh, that'll help a lot. Speaking of immortality, I think you're going to be quoted for decades on that orgasm quote. Uh, now, I loved what you said about how God designed these pleasures for, for man, he's against the misuse right. of these pleasures. I think that is gold. Um, what, what are some of these pleasures that you see your Christian brothers and sisters today? Like, you know, you've really got this all wrong. You're, you're, you're inhibiting yourself from enjoying the pleasures that God has given you. <coughs> I think the answer to that is, uh, it, it comes out in some really weird legalisms. Yeah. I mean, Oh my gosh, you're gonna eat fatted meat. My wife was salt was at a women's retreat and she was salting her food, and this gal comes by and goes, Oh, that's not good for you. And she goes, Well, my my uh, doctor said that I should salt my food to try and raise my blood pressure. Mm. And this woman replies, Don't they have a chemical they can give you? Rather mm. than salt? Yeah. Uh, which is as natural as it gets. But you see people, oh no. You can't eat fatted meat, that's bad. And you can't, you know, and, and frankly, you, you know, you can't drink wine. Yeah. Well, you know what, I've got news for you. Uh, Jesus drank wine. Yeah. Uh, and, and to say any less, anything different, is just simply not honest. Right. Uh, and so he's not anti-pleasure. Obviously, you gotta be careful not to stumble your brother, not get drunk and so on. Yeah. But he's against this misuse. He's not against pleasures in themselves. Yeah. So, but, and, and if we can get over that and go, you know, heaven's gonna be a wonderful place to be. Yeah. Then we can, it's easier for us to set our hope fully on the grace to be given us when Jesus Christ is revealed, if we think heaven's gonna be a wonderful place. If we think it's gonna be Debbie Downer. Yeah. Well, we're, we're not gonna wanna die, because who wants to go to a place where we're gonna be sporting uh, flightless wings and singing nonstop? I don't wanna go there. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're talking a lot about the distractions that people have to distract themselves from yeah. dying. And I was wondering, um, would you put up a, a session with politics in that as well? Or were there some <laughs> other distractions on there that were kind of in your notes, but maybe you didn't have- Well, it's, it's anything. Out? Yeah. Politics, sure. You can be too consumed with politics and people can watch it. I, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with watching the news or a political show. I don't think that's wrong. But if you're letting yourself be consumed by that, you know, for yeah. hours a day, then you're distracting yourself 
because you can distract yourself with anything, really. Yeah. And we need to we need to be undistracted when it comes to focusing on heaven. Yeah. When it when it comes to to looking forward to heaven and fellowship with Christ, uh, I, and I think this will be our last question. What what would be one thing that you are looking forward to? So you're you're telling us, hey, we need to look forward to heaven, guys, and take our focus, put our focus there. What's one thing you're looking forward to in heaven? Well. One thing, I'm looking forward to no more death or mourning or crying or pain. I and promise. honestly, I'm looking forward to being reunited with loved ones and people like you, even though I don't know you very well. Uh, I, I'm certainly looking forward to being reunited with my wife. Mm -hmm. And even though there won't be marriage in heaven, that doesn't mean that Jeannie and I aren't, are going to forget yeah. all of our years together and all the things we went through. Yeah. As G.K. Chesterton said, we're not going to be stupider in heaven than we are here. Yeah. And, uh, and I look forward to the reunification of loved ones and they'll be better. They're yeah. going to be perfect. <clears throat> so anyway, that's, uh, I, I gave you more than one thing, but there's... I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to eating, eating fatted meat and eat, drinking aged wine too. Yeah, sounds Works good. Works for me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Clay Jones setting our eyes and being focused on heaven.